Hello students, in this video, I'm going to provide a very direct solution of this question using momentum diagram. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this particle is going to strike uh, another particle. Okay, let us assume that its velocity is u. Okay, and after collision, its velocity becomes v1 vector and velocity of the second particle becomes uh, here v2 vector. Okay, this we are assuming. So let's draw their momentum diagram. Okay, see this particle has momentum 2mu. So let us represent it uh, by a vector like this, it is in this direction. Okay, so this uh, uh, has momentum 2m into u. Okay, that is momentum of this particle. Okay, now this particle has momentum uh, uh, 2m v1 at a theta angle with the direction of momentum of this uh, initial momentum. We can say initial momentum ke direction se ke theta angle pe. So that uh, also I'll represent by a vector like this. Okay, so uh, this is at a theta angle. Okay, and its momentum is. 2m and v1. Okay, we are writing like this 2m v1. Okay, and uh, this particle has momentum mv2. So this must be in this direction like this. Okay, in order to momentum um, to be conserved. Uh, so this uh, momentum is mv2. Okay. Okay, so conservation of momentum momentum of this plus momentum of this must be equal to total initial momentum, okay, 2mu. So you, you can see this diagram directly tells about conservation of momentum. According to vector law of addition, uh, some of these two vectors must be equal to this vector. So it automatically uh, applies the conservation of momentum. All right. So let us assume that uh, this side is A, this side is suppose A, this side is B, and this side is C. Okay, so if these sides are A, B, C, then you know there is a cosine formula. Cos theta uh, is equal to uh, A square plus B square minus C square and divided by 2AB. Okay, so here in place of A, we have this value. Okay, in place of B, we have this value. And in place of C, we have this value. Okay, so let us put these values here. Okay, so when you put mass will ca cancel out from numerator and denominator. Okay, uh, and what you will get is here for v1 square and plus you know, 4 v1 square plus here uh, in place of b we are putting this so you will get 4 u square and in place of c we'll put this so you'll get v2 square okay and divided by this 2 is already there and a or b donor say 2 or 2 ka factor aega. so you will get 4 and uh, here you will get v1 and u okay now let us, so uh, uh, we have written this formula. It is equivalent to saying that we have applied conservation momentum. Okay, because this diagram ensures that you are applying conservation momentum. All right. Now let us apply conservation of kinetic energy. Since collision is elastic, so kinetic energy is conserved here. So uh, total initial kinetic energy is equal to total final kinetic energy. So kinetic energy initially, if you write, you will write like this half m. Again, this is half m as a mass is 2m, right? And u square, total final kinetic energy is half mass is 2m and velocity is v1 square and plus then half m and velocity is v2 square. So half m will cancel out from here. So from here, if you calculate v2 square, you are going to get here two times uh, u square minus v1 square. Because two factor is there in, bo in, the, in both of these, okay? So let us put this V2 square over here. So you will get here cos theta. Okay. When you put this uh, uh, V2 square here, you will get cos theta. See, uh, uh, two will come here. So a factor of two can be canceled from numerator and denominator. So this will become two V1 square and one V1 square minus and minus plus yeah, one V1 square will come from here. So this will become three V1 square. Okay. And this will become two U square and one U square will get subtracted. So you will get here U square. And divided by this two factor of two will get cancelled. You will get here four v one and multiplied by u. So we can rewrite this formula like this: cos theta is equal to, okay, now this cos theta is equal to three v one plus u square by v one, and here you get four u. Okay, that's what you get. Now question says we have to find maximum value of theta. So if theta is maximum, then cos theta is minimum. So let us, uh, here we can say that cos theta is function of V1, okay? So let us apply condition of minimum on, on cos theta. So we'll say that D cos theta uh, differentiated with respect to V1 should be equal to zero. So we are differentiating it, okay? So we'll get here three, uh, this denominator is constant actually, okay? Uh, initial velocity is a fixed, uh, has a fixed value, okay? So only, uh, only variable here is V1, okay? So we are saying that cos theta is function of V1, okay? So differentiating with respect to V1, we get this and minus U square upon V1 square, uh, that is equal to zero. Okay, that's what you'll get. 
ठीक है सो फ्रॉम हियर यू गेट यू इज इक्वल टू सॉरी वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग वी वन राइट तो वी विल गेट हियर वी वन इज इक्वल टू यू अपॉन रूट थ्री ठीक है सो लेट एस पुट दैट वैल्यू ऑफ वी वन इन दिस फॉर्मूला ओके सो वेन यू पुट हियर यू अपॉन रूट थ्री सो दिस थ्री एंड रूट थ्री विल कैंसिल आउट इट विल बिकम रूट थ्री हियर सो कॉस्ट हिटा विल बिकम इक्वल टू रूट थ्री यू एंड प्लस here when you put uh, u upon root 3 one you will cancel out so you will get here root 3u and divided by here you have 4u so you get here cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2 so that is the minimum value of cos theta okay we can apply it condition of minimum okay you can just uh, differentiate it once more okay you can see that second derivative will come out to be positive okay so it is satisfying the condition of minimum okay so this is the minimum value of cos theta so therefore corresponding uh, value of theta will be maximum okay so therefore we get theta max is equal to here cos theta is root 3 by 2 so obviously theta is pi by 6 okay so theta max is pi by 6 so this is uh, the solution of this question in lab frame okay we can solve this question in central mass frame also okay there is a topic uh, um, which discusses uh, a uh, scattering in lab frame and center of mass frame and uh, relation between scattering angle in lab frame and center of mass frame okay in that topic you know uh, there is a uh, standard result which tells you what will be wh what would be the value of maximum angle of scattering in lab frame okay so if you use that result you will get the answer in just one line okay but that topic is beyond je syllabus okay so that's why i didn't uh, solve this question uh, using center of mass frame okay here we have solved it uh, using lab frame okay so that's all in this video